Thanos snapping twice. Mass alien abduction, a weird wormhole taking us all on a wild ride around the galaxy for exactly 12 months. All possible explanations behind all of humanity disappearing for a year. I'm sure there are plenty more reasons we could get up and go for a 52 week period, but I won't get into that right now. You're more than welcome to down in the comments though. I'm sure we've all contemplated this idea at some point. What if we just weren't here? It's worth considering. I think part of being human is thinking about the implications of our existence, and of course, the lack thereof. If we never existed, the world would definitely be a different place. But now that we've been around for a while, what would happen if we popped out of reality for a little bit? Not forever, mind you, because that would leave no room for us to see the results of our non-being. No. What we'll ask today involves a temporary vacation from the mortal coil. Hello fellow friends and philosophers and welcome back to the most mind-bending channel on YouTube. I'm your voice in the void, Keegan Hughes, and today we're going to be asking the following question. What would happen if humans disappeared for one year? Before we get started, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more existential inquiries. Perfect, let's begin. I suppose we have to consider two things right off the bat. One, what would happen during the year we aren't around? Two, what would we do when we came back? There are plenty more questions to be asked, like where would we actually go? Or would we age during our time away? Or would we even be aware of our own disappearance? Is it limbo? Purgatory? The shadow realm? But hey, that's less concrete than anything I'll follow up with. I'll leave those questions to the sci-fi writers of the world. There isn't a single place on Earth that human beings haven't stuck their grubby little fingers. We've colonized just about every landmass, explored every jungle, mountain, and ocean, and built monuments in every picturesque location. Without humans to monitor all this for a full 365, a lot would change pretty quickly. The first major change I want to address is infrastructure. Humans have made it possible to live comfortably just about anywhere through the magic of technology. Central heating, electricity, the shipping of goods. It's pretty wild when you think about all the normal things that would totally fall apart if not expertly managed. First of all, when all humans disappeared, all energy generation would stop. Power plants would go dark with nobody to keep them going. Nuclear plants would likely undergo catastrophic meltdowns after cooling systems failed. That'll be fun to deal with upon our return. Without people to work drainage pumps, subways and cities would flood. Streets would become rivers full of all the junk that tends to drift around in urban areas. Buildings would have a rough go of it too. Structures made of concrete would actually be alright for a year, but give it a few more and you'd start to see major breakdowns. However, anything largely made of wood would be way worse off. With nobody around to do maintenance and to prevent fires from spreading, a lot of buildings could fall apart. Mold, pests, and unforeseen blazes could claim all sorts of structures, especially in areas where plenty are close together. It's a good thing nobody's inside, I guess. One year isn't too long of a time though, so most structures would look more or less the same when we got back. However, anything housing potentially volatile materials that need some sort of maintenance in order not to explode or catch fire would be out of luck. The next major issue would have to do with animals. Although many species have lived happily without human intervention, there are plenty that have adapted to live with us. Pets would be totally screwed unless they found a way to make it outside whatever abode they were kept in. It's tragic, but domesticated animals like dogs and cats would likely starve. This is true for pet birds, rodents, fish, and more. However, the feral versions of these creatures would have run of these streets. For a while, anyways. We humans made all sorts of environments more easily survivable for many creatures through our excessive use of heat in the winter and often through the generation of waste. Rats and cockroaches would not have a good time eking out a living once our dirty <laughs> disappear. How can they expect to find food and warmth and shelter without humans? Livestock would roam free for a bit, provided they were free range and not kept in cages. Those trapped ones are cooked though, unfortunately. But without farmers to feed them, it wouldn't be long before their populations were massively reduced. Add in the free roaming predatory animals now having access to everything with a threat of a double barrel wielding farmhand, and cows, chickens, and other barnyard beasts might be clucking their last. It's also possible that animals that were previously non-native to certain areas will find new niches to fill. We've seen how fast an invasive species can take over in a new environment, and without humans there to regulate the spread, it could be a whole new ball game for some. Especially considering the fact that people have brought all sorts of exotic animals to new places for zoos and research and unlawful pet ownership, so we could very well see crocodiles take over New York, or maybe some gorillas crashing through the Albertan forests. Yet another fun surprise for when we finally make it back. A lot of folks assume that the environment would just take care of itself with humans gone. This is essentially true, but it wouldn't fix itself as fast as many would think. One year really wouldn't make a big difference in terms of healing from the pollution we've introduced to the planet. 
It would take thousands of years for carbon in the atmosphere to return to pre-human levels. Ditto for all the pollutants in our waterways. And don't even get me started on plastics. Those will still be around when humans actually do go extinct. In fact, when the year was up, we'd probably come back to a more polluted world thanks to all the stuff that would burn unregulated. Gotta love a year-long tire fire, hey? A lot would happen in a year, but it's still a relatively short time if you're expecting major changes. However, a lot would have to be dealt with upon our return. That's where things get interesting. If everyone just popped back up one year post-disappearance, we'd have a lot of problems on our hands. Firstly, the world would not be able to support everyone. A whole year without cultivating food means that there would be a scramble to find non-perishables and get the nourishment flowing once again. We'd have to gather all sorts of farm animals and start sowing seeds ASAP. The thing is, all of the systems we had in place before to keep these things going smoothly would be totally out of commission. Sure, agrarian folks wouldn't have too rough a time, but the large-scale industrial ordeals we had running before would have totally ground to a halt. Add in the very likely destroyed energy generation technology, and city centers being partially submerged, and you've got yourself a wicked post-apocalyptic scenario on your hands. It would be chaos. I kind of imagine it being like Fallout, with all sorts of folks emerging from their bunkers. Instead of emerging from their bunkers, we'd be emerging from non-existence. Everything's irradiated, food is hard to come by, everyone's pissed off and killing each other for resources, society's done so. Politeness and cordial behavior are out the window. Now it's every person for themselves. At least things would be very interesting for a little while. The whole world would be in a position where starting over is an option. New leaders would emerge as the systems we have in place now likely wouldn't hold up. Gone would be the days of political platitudes, I think a Mad Max style world order should arise. Trials by fire, leadership by literal strength. Whoever's got the craziest jacket slash hairdo combo. Those who have the most resources and firepower can take control of the wastes. And thankfully, the wastes don't have to stay wasted for too long. Sure, the nuclear meltdowns would create a bunch of little Chernobyls, but we'd work our way around that. As long as people come back and don't immediately try to pick up where we left off, I think there's opportunity for a more interesting future. Leave the systems of the past behind and start fresh. What better opportunity than right after a hard reset? It's like making a major life change post-vacation. And there you have it. My take on what might happen if humans disappeared for one year. All sorts of technology would fail thanks to a lack of oversight, and a lot of human-dependent creatures would likely die. Then the world would stay the same for a bit, and upon our return we'd have a lot to deal with. Hopefully a full societal reset. I'm kind of tired of the one we have now. So what do you think? Would the world be better off without humans? Do you think it would be possible to return to the way we are now after a full year of zero people? Make sure you let me know down in the comments. Speaking of comments, let's take a look at some of your more fragrant ones from What If The World Ends at the end of 2020. Jellyfish says, if the world ended in 2020, it would end. Whoa, I never thought of it that way. Thank you for the perspective. Gosh, you're so much smarter than the rest of us. Grey World says, answer, get women and slash or men a bunch of food and a lot of guns. I think that's the answer to life itself, to be honest. It seems like most societies have tried that. Flex R asks, what if the words what and if never existed? Well, I guess it would be a lot harder to ask your questions, eh? We have to frame things like, could you imagine humans disappearing for one year? Green Polo Boy 3 says, it won't. I have a tin of beans in the cupboard and they don't go out of date until December 2021. That's the spirit. All hail the beans. And Cassidy Anthony says, get a group and become wolves. Eat raw meat. Hunt down and sink your teeth into an elk's throat until it stops moving. Yeah, I could live like that. I mean, humans and wolves have very different teeth, but hey, go for it. I'd probably stick to hunting with tools though, but that's just my preference. And that's all the time we have for today. Before I shrink down to the atomic level, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more mysterious content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.